Hey everyone, Tom Trossi here, and welcome to our new playthrough. We're going to be playing Gunstar Superheroes, but I do have some help. So, I am playing this on hardware emulation, not software. So I am playing this on my Analog Pocket Vada dock from Analog. Now, this console does not have open FPGA cores. So, this is actually being played on a cartridge. And to prove my point, here's the box in question, okay? Yes, I know it's in mirror mode, but this is the actual box itself, all right? Just want to make everyone clear that I am playing on a legit copy. With that said in mind, let's add some theming because this is a Game Boy Advance game. Oh, yeah, that looks good. And we're going to be playing Red Story Mode. There we go. Now we have some red. But let's get into the game, shall we? We shall. Licensed by Nintendo, by the way. And pre presented by Sega. A little out of my ears. Alright. We have to stop him. Your journey ends here. Hey, it's Great Value M. Bison. Where is he? That light. It's too late. No, the earth under one person's power. In the past. Two heroes fought against the terrible Destructor, known as Gold and Silver. These two noble heroes were known as the Gunstar Heroes. But nothing else was known about them. That's kind of true. They beat the Destructor in an epic battle on the moon. The Destructor exploded, resulting in a Genesis. Hey, Sega Genesis! A Genesis of four new moons that orbited the Earth. As time passed, development occurred on the four moons. It was a prosperous era. Then a fifth moon appeared. Fifth moon? This moon served as an ominous omen. Uh-oh. A huge military satellite created by the Empire. They're back? It plans to resurrect the Destructor. The God of Ruin! Its obsession since the find of a relic, the Megalith. But the Empire's grab for power hasn't gone unnoticed. You hear that, General Grey? The Third Eye Force on Earth has created a unit to stop it. This elite unit has been given the code name... Gunstar Superheroes. Alright. Welcome everyone to Gunstar Superheroes. So, just to give you some background. There are two story modes that are going to be going on in this game. There's Red Story and there's Blue Story. And to get the full story, we have to play on Hard Mode. Now, on Twitch, I'm playing Blue. Which you can see on my YouTube channel with the VOD. That I struggle against... Green and the Seventh Force. So, I have to keep that in mind when I play Red. But we will be continuing Red Story here on YouTube. So, if you like the more streamlined recorded gameplay, this will be it. Where you could break it up into chunks. Or, like I said, you can watch it on Twitch, be going through Blue Story, which is all in hopefully one, not one take, but several takes at least to get the whole story across. We are going to play on hard mode. I'm going to reset the data because technically I had this game recorded, but my audio hiccuped. So, we're going to go through it again. Alright? Alright. Earth. At the Skyport. N N Nam Ako Station? I don't know how to say it. This is yellow. Respond, HQ. Please respond. It's no use. How could someone overwhelm our HQ? We have over 300. Go investigate, Gunstars. Use extreme caution. Roger. So, unlike the original Gunstar Heroes, this one has a different weapon system. So in the original game, you had four weapon types, and you could make combinations out of them. Plus two weapon styles. You could do run and gun, or you could stand and gun. Both players could fight, but 
Again, you had fixed and free fire rate, essentially. Fixed and free fire rate are in this game, but it's down to a button combo, or a button at least. If you hold R, you go into a fixed state, where if you don't hold R, you're in a free state. The weapon types were laser, chase, flamethrower, and machine gun. Red, in this case, has machine gun, uh, fireball, which is machine gun and flamethrower, if you're talking about old game logic, and laser chase, which is the last one. And they have supercharged weapons. So, when that bar fills up, you double tap R and it'll shoot off a big, big, powerful attack. Now, I would have played this on my Genesis controller, or Genesis style controller, but the R button doesn't seem to work for some weird reason. So, I'm playing this on a Switch controller. And just like with Blue, Blue has laser, same thing, has the fireball uh, machine gun mechanic, and then laser chase. So really, the only difference between the two characters is Machine Gun and Laser as their first weapon choice. With that all said, oh, and I can't throw people too, like the old game. But with that all said, let's get into it. And to switch it, you could uh, press left trigger. Or left bump. Uh, left, the left button. Alright, so let's go. And instead of Phantoms, we got this big boy now. He's the mini-boss now. Which is weird. Oh, I'm gonna whelm. Get out of here. Nope, I need that hard power. Get out of here, dudes. Let's go through these dudes like butter. I mean, there are some differences, too. Red and blue and Gunstar Heroes are both male. In this version, red is actually female, as far as I know from the US copy. And blue is male. So. There we go. There's another big boy. Come on. I want to have. Try to have maximum health for the incoming boss that we're going to have to fight. Ah, missed the heart. Get out of here, dudes. Alright, got rid of those guys. And physical attacks are still the dominant force, technically. Or can be. If it cooperates, essentially. Alright, got rid of that guy. Now, there is a secret up here. I do want to get that. Maximize, uh... Getting some supercharges for my other weapons. All right, let's keep going. General Gray, what are you doing here? Greetings. I am General Gray. He has a voice. You're too late. I've already got what I've wanted. Where are the guards? What have you done to them? Ah, I raced them. I used the power of the Megalith. He can race people? Megalith? What the heck is a megalith? Yellow here. I require help. I'm under attack. What? There was no warning. Where did that where did it come from? <clears throat> you cannot comprehend the power of the megalith. Soon everyone will bow to the power of the Empire. Abyss no Mundundus. I have no idea how the hell to say it correctly. It's Latin, as far as I can tell. I could be wrong, but I believe it's Latin. Shoot! We got to get back to yellow. Get through these dudes. There we go. Ow. Ow. There we go. Got some hearts at least. Should be enough health for 
the boss. This is an insane boss, by the way. Spoilers. Oh, yeah, the city blows up, by the way, with a creepy, like, skull in the background. All right, time to use my super. I gotta let him get let go of yellow. There we go. Gotta watch out. Ow. Gotta watch out for his meaty hands. He's almost dead. There we go. Yeah, that's right. I, I'm an acrobat. Come on. Bring it. I'm a fighter. Although, I wish I could toss people. Like I said, that... That... That ominous... Blowing up cloud... Fire... Like, that's just a creepy image. I'm just saying. Alright, we completed Earth. Let's put in my name, shall we? There we go. And we're saving. Third Eye seems to have vanished, but it's so hard to believe. Excluding us, Third Eye no longer exists in any form. No longer exists? What does this mean? I don't know, but the stolen data may provide a clue. It says each of the four moons has a treasure gem. The legendary gems said to call forth the God of Ruin? Hmm. But weren't they destroyed along with the Destructor? Yes, but recall how the four moons appeared after that battle. I think these gems have been regenerating in the moons. And now they have wakened. If so, then they must have the same purpose. To awaken the God of Ruin, Gold and Silver, again. So history repeats itself once more. Now we know what the Empire wants. We were aptly named. Somehow I have a feeling of deja vu. Will we meet Pink, Orange, and Smash? What irony. Well, we better get to the Four Moons before the Empire. Roger. Yes, and these gems are technically sentient, but that's a different story. So, the order is a little different than the original game. So instead of it being pink, green, orange, black, they made it pink, orange, green, and black. I'm going to go into tradition. We'll do pink first, then green, then orange, then black. I'm just going down in order basically what it was in the original game. For Gunstar Heroes. A treasure gem should be underneath this pyramid. But the Empire is ready. It's hired mechs to deal with us. Pink and her gang are also expecting us, so be careful. It looks like the Empire's already here. Get ready. Roger. Alright, I apologize for the camera spinning. That's just how the mechanic is. It just... Ow, I actually got hit. So, more or less, this is a Gunstar Heroes game if this was on a Super Nintendo, using the Super Graphics... Uh, Turbo Graphics chip or whatever they had on there. Which is not a bad looking game. Because most people compare the GBA to being a Super Nintendo anyhow. Gotta get for these bombs. So yeah, lots of bombs, lots of mechs. Although the airplanes are from orange, which kind of amazes me a little bit. And then these little buggers. Mechanical mech drones, I guess. Huh. And I assume that in the background is Earth. We're on Nintendo and Moon. Okay, there we go. Gotta 
got rid of those guys. Now we gotta dodge more bombs. Or not, just get hit. And get hit one more time. And then one for good measure, I guess. I don't know. It's weird that I get hit. Alright. These houses contain hearts. That's right, let me beat the shit out of things. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. Oh, come on. Go down, bastards. Here, eat my super. Which, funny enough, this super kind of reminds me of the fire chase combo from Gunstar. Ow. Come on. Oh, come on. What is with the iframes in this game? Now we gotta fight this boss. Such a weird boss. Got him. All right, got some health back at least. Now I'll go play this flicky game. Which is still weird that this is part of the main mechanic of this stage. I don't understand that. What what part of this minigame saving birds has to do with Gunstar Heroes? Like, if I'm saving the dudes, the drones, that would make more sense. But... Yeah, there you go. Got through the weird flicky stage. Alright, back to the action. Now let's go deal with Bravo Man. If it's playing like Gunstar Heroes, the first game, we gotta deal with Bravo Man. Go away, dude. Well, there's no jetpack, dudes, so that's helpful. Woo! Alright, Bravo Man, let's go! Alright, he fell like dominoes. Alright, now deal with Pink and, it's, and her gang. Of misfits. Ho ho ho! I'm the bounty hunter known as Pink. Yeah, I know. Now I'm just gonna beat the shit out of you physically. 
I didn't think this boss would be easier, but it's a lot easier than the first time. Done! Yeah, I'll remember you. In passing. Not bad for hard mode. But then again, I played blue through this, so I kind of know what to expect. The blue treasure gem touches your mind. That's a weird way of touching. I am the first gem. Satoa. From a different earth. They have names? Red, I will endow you with my history. On my earth, war and death were the only two constants. Humans never evolved and were always in conflict. I was created to help and stop humankind from extinction. But in the end, I failed. Man was too savage. All my efforts could not stop man's conflict. Yet despite this, I still love humankind. I vowed to prevent this from happening again. Well, it's happening again. I evolved and was able to travel through dimensions. That was when I learned of a horrifying power. Uh, ulterior force also able to travel dimensions. Its intent, the destruction of all living things. It is only known as outside space. I am here to try and prevent it from succeeding. Find my comrades, and you shall learn more, Red. But be quick. Your Earth is in danger. And there we go. So, on the next video, we will continue this with Green. And Seven Force, which, my god, I hope I could beat. You gotta understand something. When I was playing Blue Story, with uh, the stream I did yesterday, technically depending when this goes on YouTube. It was ridiculous. Then again, I didn't have a whole lot of health. I only had 69 health. And you have to fight all seven forms. When you play hard mode, you fight all seven forms. If you're playing easy mode, I think it's three. If you're playing normal, it's five modes. So seven force is not an easy thing to deal with. But hopefully I can figure this out with red in the next video. Until then, Tom Trossi signing out for now. Check me out on twitch.tv slash Tom Trust with the Eye. You can see me on Saturdays. If you want to see more content, hey, I have a Gunstar Heroes playlist where I played on my Xbox 360 back in the day. And here's last year's stream of me playing Gunstar Heroes on Nintendo Switch Online. Plenty of Gunstar Heroes content for you to look at. Or, like I said, watch my Twitch stream that I just did recently with Blue Story. So... I'll see you guys in the next video, and don't worry, seven days die will come back. I'm just taking a break, so. Alright? Bye bye for now.